Hey, hey, people! My name is Nicola Pavilioniti. Uh, creating videos like this is some crazy new territory for me, but so is powerlifting, so bear with me. A uh, bit of background, I am 21 years old, born and raised in Calgary, currently attending the University of Western Ontario in London, Ontario, and I'm in my fourth year of health sciences. And I guess I'm here to say that in just over six weeks, I'm going to be competing in at CPU Nationals uh, for powerlifting in Regina. So until then, I'm going to have a bit of fun and share my journey through videos and hopefully shed some light as to what powerlifting is and what powerlifting training is and also showcase some of the cool community. Um, powerlifting has some really amazing people. So this is a journey that means a lot to me, and I'm very excited about it. So welcome to the world of powerlifting. Um, people often ask how I come to power, how I came to powerlifting. Um, I guess I've always been a very active kid. Uh, and back in high school, I was on five different teams from soccer, track, uh, cross country, field hockey, swimming. Um, and then when I got to university, I got into the sport of triathlon, and I guess I just burnt out of cardio, and um, I was also battling a bit of an eating disorder, so strength sports were a way of building myself up a bit, so I just like had a bit of fun in the gym, and it kind of went from there. I am still very new to the sport, um, I'm still shy of... 11 months powerlifting, so don't come to me for form or advice or things like that. Um, I guess my first thing I want to talk about is what is powerlifting? Uh, that's one of the reasons I'm starting to create these videos because people always ask me, it's like, what is powerlifting? And then they do some kind of overhead press motion. Um, and I think people often get it mixed up with Olympic lifting. So, powerlifting consists of the squat, bench press, and deadlift. Um, in a sport, the individual attempts to lift as much weight as possible for one repetition of each lift. Each lifter is placed into a specific division and is classified by male or female, weight class, age group, and then there's also the option to do classic or equipped, and equipped is with uh, equipment, uh, like special gear. I've never done it. Um, so for me, I compete in female 52 um, kilo junior classic. Uh, competitions are usually all day events that begin with the squat and then they progress to the bench press and conclude with the deadlift. Every lifter is allowed three attempts for each lift making a total of nine lifts during the day. Um, there are judges that collectively decide whether or not your lift is considered good. For example, my trouble is always hitting squat depth. Um, and then you also have to pause your bench. Lots of fun stuff like that <laughs> that we can get into probably later. Um, so each judge's decision is represented by a panel of red and white lights. White are good, red is bad. Uh, lifters total is determined by the sum of their best lifts. And the individual with the highest total is considered the all-around strongest lifter in the division and the winner. For meets, uh, the powerlifting community as a whole is one of the most generous, kind, and supportive groups you will ever meet. Um, everyone is there to be the best they can be. There isn't any lying, there isn't any cheating in the sport. Um, it's just you and the platform. And you either lift the weight or you don't. So like I said, I'm still very new to the sport. Um, I did my first competition last February. I kind of YOLO'd it. Um, really didn't know what I was doing. But I ended up setting all the meet records, having a ton of fun. Then signed up immediately for my next competition in May. I really didn't know what I was doing. My younger brother was my handler, but 
again, I had so much fun. And then my most recent competition was um, Ontario Provincial. So that was the end of October. And I ended up setting all the provincial records. And um, I finished with an over 400 Wilkes, which I was pretty excited about. Um, and so now I guess I'm headed to nationals and qualified for it. So I guess another thing I wanted to mention is that I'm currently being coached by Stephen Cassioli. Um, he coached me up until provincials, uh, so for 12 weeks leading up, and I could not have been happier. So I've hired him till nationals. He's a smart dude. Um, yeah, I guess at times he even intimidates me. I feel like such a noob. I was sending him my mid videos and stuff because my form is so bad. He's actually holds the world record squat, so I have a lot of respect for him, and you should definitely check him out. So I think I've been working with him for 20 weeks now. Every Sunday he sends me my program for the week. That's always like the highlight of my week is seeing uh, what numbers I'm supposed to hit that week. Um, and then I film all my lifts and send them um, my lifts via video and for different tips and stuff. <laughs> Still working on my form a lot. So, I guess next I'll lead you through a little bit of a typical week for me. This was last week's training. So here we go. So Mondays are my squat and deadlift day. Um, so for squats, I'm really, really working on uh, hitting depth every single time and really driving those knees out and not using my back so much. Um, so for deadlifts, I think deadlifts are my favorite lift, <laughs> love-hate relationship, um, but these felt pretty good, and I'm really working on bringing my hips forward too, and not using only my back, and really trying to drive those legs. Just for one, right? So, Tuesday is our bench, too. Ah, uh, bench has been feeling pretty good lately. I do have pretty crooked hips, so I'm also working on that quite a bit. And also working on pausing, too. But thankfully, Tuesdays, I don't have to pause. <laughs> so, this is just a quick random little video I found on my phone where I accidentally filmed my face rather than the actual set after. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Uh, this Wednesday was something new. Front squats. I really have not done front squats in quite a long time, so I was so shaky. And I kind of wimped out and put the weight pretty light. So I'm going to try to up that for this coming week. Thursday was another bench press session. And I was pausing my last rep and felt pretty good. I was pretty proud of my pauses this week, so hopefully I can continue it this coming week. And so coming up Friday was my heaviest squat day of the week. Um, it was the first day of the year, so I was pretty motivated to kill it. <laughs> and this weight felt pretty good compared to what it has in the past. And Saturday was my heaviest bench session of the week too and it was double paused and I was extra excited about my pauses here and I guess a guy winked at me too <laughs> after my last sentence so it's kind of smiling <laughs> So congrats if you made it all the way through that video. I'm hoping next week will be even better. I'm hoping to get a few tips after this first one. Please connect with me if you have any questions or anything. Otherwise, I look forward to this coming week of training and sharing it with you and the rest of my journey.